Jobs tiny house build videos and I managed to get the tiny house outside and hooked up to my brand new second-hand car. This is a Jeep Grand Cherokee 3.1 turbo diesel from 2001 and we installed a brand new towing hook right here. So that's ready to tow the tiny house. It's a Wednesday evening and we'll be leaving soon. We'll be driving through the night so that there's little traffic. Along the way we'll be weighing the tiny house. I have no idea what it will be, so that's a guess. We put the solar panels here on the floor and we put the carpet on top of it. For the rest everything has been cleaned up and it's looking great. All right guys, we are somewhere halfway through Austria. Unfortunately, the police stopped us and my BE driver's license is actually in the Netherlands. I took a risk to drive it here without it. I do have my license, uh, but I just pick it up in the Netherlands. And we will leave the house. I put a note here. We will have to leave the house here at the police stop. And we're going to drive with the Jeep to the Netherlands and then I'll get my license properly. And then I'm gonna have to drive back here 10 hours and then drive back 20 hours again. So it's gonna be terrible. We tried to make a solution, but this is the best we can think of. So a lot of journey be, uh, ahead of us and yeah, I hope it doesn't get stolen or damaged. Goodbye house, be safe, love you. Good news everybody, we bought the tiny house into the Netherlands and we are now on a temporary location near Den Haag and near Delft. We had some trouble on the way here. Unfortunately, the Jeep uh, had some engine problems. We had to leave the house in Austria, next to the highway at a police standing station. And we went back to the Netherlands and I rented another van and a chauffeur as well to go pick it up and it was a 34 hour trip. Now it's finally here and now we gotta find for a more temporary place. So it's now two weeks later, we have stayed in the south of Den Haag for two weeks and now we found a wonderful place here in Brabant, which is a bit more away from the cities. We are next to a huge, beautiful forest. This will be a more permanent location. I don't know exactly how long we'll be here, but it's a good place to finish the last things. Here you have a 750 liter collapsible water tank. I'm just putting it together right now. This is a 750 liter water tank. I will have a water pump that runs it into my water system. Now I just need to install the components into the right place. That's ready. Now I just need to get a water pump, a pressure reserve and a bunch of other things to make it work. But first it's time to work on my toilet. So I ordered two of these plastic storage containers and they have a big lid which I can take off and now I need to make a toilet seat for it. The toilet will hide underneath the wood soap compartment here. It's gonna be a composting toilet so we fill it up with poo, pee and wood chips and then after a while it will be compost. So I'm gonna use one of these wood panels to make a round toilet seat. <laughs> It's all been sanded, I painted the bottom black and I'm going to paint the top in yellow. Alright, I got this 4mm thick, 1m by 1m polycarbonate sheet and that will be going into the roof as a window. Because I have quite a nice smooth surface here on the top, I will make just a little rubber seam across the plexiglass and then the plexiglass can sit on here. Now I can simply take the polycarbonate panel and take it into the bathroom. 
stand on top of my toilet and diagonally push it up and there you go a roof window in no time also my toilets are now functional this one is for housing the wood chips and the other one is for doing the business and the toilet seat came out well pretty nicely i just take off the lid put it on do my business take it off and put the lid back and then once that one is full we can empty it Yo, I haven't been doing much work on the house lately, but soon the house will need to go to a check to make sure that everything is road legal. Therefore, I need to cover these extremely sharp steel edges with something more soft. So I'm gonna mix some silicone together and squish it onto here. And I'm just using a silicone tube that I can squeeze into a vinegar water solution. So now I've made two silicone balls of it. I'm gonna roll this up into a sausage. Jake. And now I can put that on the corner. So now I have shaped it around the corner. It's nice and it protects people's heads against injuries. All right, these rubber bumpers are complete. I've waited way too long to do the next episode, so I'll quit it here. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, you'll see me working, starting on the wood stove compartment. Very excited about that. Next week, I have the government check. Hope that it's all okay. So thank you, see you next time.